Hello, I'm Langston, and I'm back on my channel, Gymlandia. So I'm going to be kind of reacting to what we saw in the All Around the Team Finals, as well as the Vol and Uneven Bar Finals. So I just wanted to kind of get into that. So this is going to be kind of a two-part video. Like, I don't just want to be on here for like a whole 30 minutes, and I haven't seen the Beam and Floor Finals. They haven't came out yet, obviously. So I just want to kind of, you know, do this real quick. You know, I'm going to be giving like, you know, this part, then I'll be talking about some more shit in my next video. So first thing I want to talk about is the All Around. Like, number one... I never in my life thought we would see it. Like, you know, three black women on the podium. And it was really something to see. And I love how they all hit. That last rotation, I'm telling you, like, the the dreams, the prayers of the racists, of the white supremacists, they was coming. Like, I, Simone trips, Shailise almost, you know, killed herself on her, on her tumbling pass. And Rebecca Andrade almost fell on her ass. So, again, like... The haters, they 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 spells was trying to come in the last rotation, but all of them hit all of the apparatuses. Like it was so so, so beautiful, and I, I was so proud. Um, I do want to get on somebody's ass though because like I've been kind of seeing a little bit of diaspora wars, um, and that's something I can't fucking stand. Um, so number one, diaspora wars. Uh, oftentimes you see black people from different countries arguing arguing with black people from other countries. Like we see this a lot in track and field. Where you have, um, you know, black black Americans arguing with Jamaicans, like we're all niggas. Like, why are you sitting up here like arguing with other black people? Like, I can't sit up here. I can't tolerate that shit. You kind of see that same mentality with, you know, black Americans and black Brazilians, and that shit is like, at the end of the day, we all fucking black. Like, we all do with the same fucking racism, the same bullshit. Every fucking where we go, like we were both slaves in Brazil and America. Like, what? Like, be for real. Like, why the fuck are we arguing? We should be, you know uniting and, and taking on the real issue because the real problem is bitches like jessica gadrova like get it out here getting you know 8.5 8.6 executions that like, we gonna sit up here and we gonna we gonna get on that shit later though like we finna we finna you know bring some smoke on her and i do want to you know give some disclaimers that the shit i be talking about jess that i'm not actually talking about just as a person i'm talking about how people perceive her i'm talking about the judges that come for her because i definitely want to you know have that kind of mentality like i don't want y'all to think oh you just putting this bitch on blast like i'm not i don't have no smoke for her personally it's you know how she's treated and elevated that's my beef with um so again like we just saw this domination and we're seeing it in, in men's gymnastics as well and it's something that's really really beneficial uh I waited my whole life to see this. You know, 2003, we saw um, Diane Dos Santos of Brazil win the first medal um, for, for Brazil and, you know, the first black woman to win a world title. And then we move on to 2000, you know, 13, 10 years later, Simone Biles become the first black woman to win a world championships. And then 10 years after that, you know, we have three black women to sweep the podium. So in 20 years, 20 years, like this is my lifetime. How much this sport has changed. And, you know, I really have smoke for these gaslighting ass niggas talking about, oh, why don't race matter? You know, uh, why, you know, we're, we're all human. Bitch, we wasn't all human when it was time to get off the medals in Ireland, though. We wasn't all human when it's time to attack these hoes in the comments. Like, y'all, I fucking hate people to be gaslighting black people more than anything. Y'all fucking know it's a difference. Don't sit up here and act dumb. Don't sit up here and play with me. So now I want to move on to um, the team finals. And, you know, the shit I said about the team finals was right. Like, Simone, she was well. Shalise was consistent. Um, Shalise gave USA some really good numbers on beam and floor. I'm sorry, on beam and bars. I'm sorry. And, um, you know, Leanne, child, like, Leanne, she did pretty decent on floor and bar. I want to give her that because y'all was acting like she just bombed. She did not do no Grace McCallum type shit where she bombed all apparatuses. She did do well on Vaughn and floor, but Leanne did bomb beam. And this is what I said, like, why the fuck you gonna put Leanne up on beam? Like, if she falls, you gonna get a trash score. Like, if if Sky would have just fallen once, like, you would have still got, like, a 13-something. Like, last year, Sky failed. And you and she still put up like the almost the highest score for Team USA with a fall. If she hits USA, is gonna at least break fourteen. So it's like, why would you not use her and let her, let her redeem herself? Like let this be her final test. Like she was brought here for Beam. Beam is her main goal. She needs to be used for that. Like what the fuck? How the hell are you gonna use Jordan Childs for that? And that's not Jordan Childs' specialty. You know what I'm saying? Like just 
the math not mathing correctly. Like they're not thinking logically. And they could have put Sky Blakely up on vault. Like let her be, you know, let her get her shit together. Like, you know, let her, you know, try vaulting on an international stage. Cause she's never vaulted internationally. She never has. And, you know, rest shy Lee's. They, they just were not thinking with the lineups in the damn final. And I want to move on to, you know, Brazil and France. Like, Brazil, a black woman had been carrying this world championships. Like, Melanie, Melanie they had used the fans, so she ate. Rebecca, she carried Brazil. Melanie carried um, France. And, like, speaking of, like, Rebecca, like, Rebecca has just been on a roll. Like, I was so proud of her. Like, her consistency has improved so much. And, you know, some of y'all motherfuckers are still talking shit about her. Like, oh, she's still inconsistent. Like, she's still all of this. You know what? I want to talk about how her, Simone, and Chilees are scored at the end of this video as well. Um, but at the end of the day, like, Rebecca, she, I, I, I love that for her. Because, you know, where she came from, you know, where she's gotten to, she is the principle of black excellence. The principle of, like, where you come from don't determine where you going type shit. And I feel like she is the, you know, a huge influence to, you know, motherfuckers around the world. And, you know, I love how she uses her platform to talk about the plight of black resilience. Because at the end of the day, like, like I know black Americans, we go through our shit, but at the end of the day, we have platforms. Like everywhere you go on social media, black people are always talking about their problems, especially black Americans. But you know, black resilience are like they've been silenced. They they don't have the the resources the black Americans do to, you know, talk about their bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Like they don't they don't have that same luxury. It's there it's almost like they're erased in the media. And you know, when you see someone like her and you see how how what she represents to these people, it means a lot. Now I do have a smoke for some of y'all. Y'all are all these American flags, all these French flags, all these Brazilian flags. Like these are three of the most racist countries in the world. So make sure that you are fighting for black people like Rebecca Andrade in Brazil. Like let, let, let's make sure you're fighting for people like her. Because I want to say that in Brazil, like I think that uh, white Brazilians earn five times more than black Brazilians. Like um, more than 70% of black Brazilians live in poverty. Like from what I've seen, make sure that you're using your platform to fight for bitches like her. Because don't be sitting up here, you know, celebrating us when we win. But y'all be the first ones to tear us down when we fall, like Sky Blakely. So again, make sure you're using your platform to talk about it. Same thing for France. Because y'all ain't forgot about French history, bitch. We ain't forgot about all the shit France did. France is the reason us, uh, France is the reason some of us here now. They the one that trans, you know, transported us across the Atlantic. Bitch, we ain't forgot. We ain't forgot what you did to Haiti, what you did to them African countries that you just got kicked out of. So again, like, we ain't forgot. So again, like make sure that you're using your platform to, you know, talk about the issues that these gymnasts face because these gymnasts talk about it. You need to be standing with them, period. So now let's move on to, you know, some, some you know, I'm not going to be talking some shit about USA because, you know, I don't think people talk about this enough, but USA only beat Brazil by like two points. Two points, that's two falls. Like I know that don't sound like a lot, but like that's two falls, you know, maybe a couple mistakes. Like that is not that much. And I'm like Brazil as a team is not good. Like Rebecca Andrade is really good. Uh, Flavia is really good on beam and floor, but they're really competing against Rebecca and Flavia. Like realistically, all the other gymnasts on Brazil for the most part, they're not really putting up you know good numbers. So when you have the greatest gymnasts of all time, you have Shailene Jones, and you're still only winning by two points. You do have to, you know, come up with the, like, come on. I know Leanne's, you know, little ass beam score, that hurt a lot too. But you get what I'm saying. Like, USA, like, that shit was two points over Brazil. And it really was Rebecca and Flavia versus Simone and Shalice. Like, that's really what it was. Because, you know, without Shalice, Brazil probably would have won. Like, fuck, fuck without Simone. Like without Shailise, they probably because without Shailise's bar score, without you know Shailise's beam and her consistency, like if they remove Shailise's score, that might have been enough to let Brazil go ahead of U.S. Fuck, fuck, get it rid of Simone. So USA needs to really think like I like I said in my first video about the team coordination because it's like USA did not beat Brazil by much. And you know France, I want to move on to France because we know about the the shit that's going on between you know France and Clea Namor. And what the fuck was France thinking when they got rid of Clea Namor? Like, why the fuck would you treat her like that? You Can you imagine if France had that bar routine and that beam routine? Like, if they could use Kalia on bars and beam, 
like how much how many points that would add to France's like scores. Like France would realistically have a really good chance of meddling and you know in, in Paris. Because in my opinion, I don't think France is favorite to medal in Paris, at least as of now I can see it. But obviously if Great Britain hits, if China can, you know, do a little bit better on vault and floor, like I don't think France is too is too much hope. But if they would have had Kalia no more, they would have been up there. So what the fuck was they thinking? They need to beg. They need to get on this bitch, get on their knees and beg this bitch to come back to France. They need to offer Ho, you know, a five-year free croissant, you know, a free croissant discount kind of shit. They need to offer her uh, a damn apartment with an Eiffel Tower view in downtown Paris type shit. They need to offer this bitch something because they need her ass bad. They need Shorty back bad. Real, real bad. Real, real bad. And, you know, now we're starting to see black men eat men's gymnastics up. And so, you know, that's, that is something that's really good to me because, like, we haven't seen, like, you know, black men too much in men's gymnastics. Um, so that's that's a really, really positivity. So I want to give these brothers a shout out. Um, I'm seeing, you know, black media, they going crazy. And I, I love to see it. Um, I want to move on to, uh, you know, vault finals. Unfortunately, we did see Simone um, fall on her Yurchenko double pike. Uh, Simone Biles is just absolutely incredible that's all I have to say like I know like we talk about her so much but it's like she she is you know some people wait a lifetime to see someone as good as she is and you know this bitch fell with a 0.5 deduction and still you know almost still one gold of all and I do want to you know because I heard people saying oh well you know it's the 0.5 deduction to be honest I agree with that you know I love Simone but it's like you grown as fuck. Like, why Why do you have your coach stand under the podium for you, like, on ball? Like, be for real. And the thing is, he don't even be helping her. Like, when she fell, how did he help her? She literally just fell. He didn't help her. So, like, why the fuck is he on the podium with her? I don't understand. Like, Simone was doing this Yurchenko double pipe in Tokyo. She was doing it, like, in 2021. He was not on the podium with her. Like, if you take him off the podium, regardless of if she falls or not, like she's still going to win. You know what I'm saying? So like, I don't understand what they were thinking with that. And I know that's controversial, but he needed to, he needed to get his ass off, off the podium. Like she, she, maybe they want to wait until 2021, but you know, coming into, you coming into next year in Paris, she, he needed to be off that damn podium. He needed to be off that podium. So again, that's, that's that. Um, I want to move on to, uh, what's what's on the last episode? I want to talk about the underscoring, the blatant underscoring. So number one, um, you know, Jessica obviously got injured. And, you know, I don't even sit up here that like I'm sad because, you know, if Jessica would have been in a competition, they would have found a way to get to get her on the podium. Like, let's be fucking realistic. Like, if she would have tried, they would have given that shit to her. And, I, it, you know, Jesus said this bitch ain't going to compete today. Like, she's not going to take this away from niggas. Like, black people deserve this. And she ain't going to be in a competition. And I know y'all going to say, oh, you evil as fuck. Well, yeah. I'll be Marta Caroli. Like, I'll be the, the the demon that you want to make me out to be. But the same, at the end of the day, like, you you can't sit up here and say, like, they would have, the, the Shailisa and Rebecca would have beat her with, with the mistakes they made. Like, they would have justified it as a reason to put her on the podium. And I'm not, mm -mm. And, you know, Jessica Gadrova, she is a really good gymnast. And I know I'd be putting her shit on blast. The only reason I put her on blast is because you put Simone on blast. You put Shailisa on blast. You put Rebecca Andrade on blast. So I'm going to, you know, I'm going to give you the same energy. Because y'all not going to sit up here and idolize this bitch like she's better than, better than these other hoes and she's not. You're going to sit up here and do that. So again, like, bitch, and one thing about me, bitch, I'm going to have my screenshots. I'm going to have my screen recordings. Like, you, one thing about me, I'm going to have my receipts. When I had shit to say about Grace, I had receipts. When I had shit to say about Riley, I had receipts. When I had shit to say about Jessica, I had receipts. I didn't come on here just running my fucking mouth. I had receipts. Say, when I defended Jay Carey, I had my receipts. I had my receipts. So again, y'all can talk all the shit you want to talk about me, but I'm going to always have my receipts. I'm going to always have my damn receipts. But you, you can sit up here and, and deny, but the, the, the facts going fact how they're supposed to fact. So again, loud and motherfucking wrong. Period. Um, and let's move on to uh, the last topic is like how Simone Shalise and, you know, Rebecca are so underscored. Like, I'm starting to hear people talking about, oh, Shalise is underscored. The only reason people know that Shalise is underscored is because she's blatantly underscored. But if you actually think about it, Rebecca and Simone are both underscored. Like, it's not just Shalise. Melanie, too, it's a, it's a black thing. Like, Rebecca, look look at Rebecca's form on vault. And you mean to tell me that her vault execution is, is roughly the same as Jessica if she wasn't taking steps? Like, you mean to tell me that... 
Rebecca Andrade's like execution is that bad on bars. Like, yes, she got some handstands and stuff like that, but you you can't convince me these Chinese girls. You can't convince me that you know Clea no more and all of these other gymnasts are out here doing you know routines like this with, with all these damn leg separations and still scoring still scoring similar execution to Shailene and Rebecca. Like, you cannot convince me that. And you know we know about Shailene's handstands and. I'm going to put this clip on right here. How many times have I told you you have to be what? You have to be what? Twice. What? Twice as good. Twice as good as them to get half what they have. And, you know, this is exactly what we're talking about. Like, when you black, you have to work twice as hard to get half of what they have. And that's why we're celebrating so much. Because, you know, this bitch from Ireland, you know, the one that didn't want to get that black girl that medal, she's sitting here. She she having the worst day of her life. Like this, she I know Shorty was mad as hell. I kept hearing people talk about that. And it it really means something because black people have to work so hard for scraps. Like you want us to just be okay with scraps like how you treat Shailice like no give us what we deserve and you know that's why it's so important to have shit like this because this in spite of all the racist bullshit y'all got to say about these hoes in spite of how the judges are doing these bitches dirty they still find a way to win they still find a way to get on the podium they still find a way despite what your bum ass e scores like in spite and you know, you had Jessica sit up here and fall out of her wolf turn and put her hand on the fucking floor and still get a better execution than all of them. That should have been counted as a fall. Let, let that let Shy Lisa Rebecca do some shit like that. These are the same judges that want to discredit Shy Lisa's, you know, double L turn. The same judges that want to sit up here and give Rebecca a, a point three penalty, but but this bitch don't sit up here and fail out of a wolf turn and put her hand down after. Bitch, that's a fall. Huh? Y'all gonna go to hell because I refuse to believe that I can see this shit. I ain't gonna sit up here like I got 2020 vision. Like, I listen, my vision ain't all that, but at the end of the day, if I can see this shit, I know damn what a robot judge can see it. I know damn what Wally can see it. I know I ain't robot can see it. Like, listen, bitch, I know the Terminator can see this shit. Like, you got me, you, you expect me to believe that Wally can't see this shit? Mm -mm. Like, bitch, I, I might have been born last night. I might have been born at night, but I damn sure was not born last night. So again, like, no, no, you ain't gonna sit up here and 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 act like I'm, you know, I'm I'm cooking for cocoa puffs. Like I see what the fuck I'm talking about. And fell out of a wolf turn and put her hand down after. It's just a fall, huh? Like you can't. And then you be hearing people say, "Oh well, you know the judges." Like all the excuses you make for Jessica, when are you gonna realize the truth? And I'm, I'm, no, I'm not going to say most people do realize, but like I'm saying, it, it's, it's really something to see. So again, like I'm going to, you know, be uploading a part two of this video as well. So, you know, this is not the, the end of it. I'm going to be talking some about floor finals, um, you know, more about the actual finals in general. So make sure to tune into that as well. Again, I'm Blankson and I'm on my channel. I'm Jalandia. Thank you guys so much for tuning into my podcast today and make sure to have a nice day, you guys. Goodbye.